Hi, welcome to another video. So, let's talk about a problem that is becoming increasingly annoying for all of us. If you are anything like me, your development environment has become a chaotic mess of different AI tools. You've got a terminal open for Claude code, maybe another tab running Gemini CLI. You're switching back to Cursor or Windsurf for editing, and honestly, it is getting hard to keep track of who is doing what. We have entered the era of AI agents, but managing them feels like herding cats. You lose context, you forget which agent was fixing that database bug, and half the time, you are just waiting for a terminal loader to finish. However, there is a new open source tool here, and it is trying to solve exactly this problem. It is called Vibe Kanban. It basically allows you to orchestrate multiple AI coding agents from a single visual interface. And yes, it is completely free and open source on GitHub. Now, getting this thing running is actually incredibly fast. You don't need to sign up for some enterprise cloud account. You literally just go to your terminal and run a simple npx command, or you can clone the repo and build it locally if you want to be safe. It runs on your machine, using your keys, which is exactly how we like it. Once you run the command, it spins up a local web interface, and that is where the magic happens. So, let me show it to you in action, or at least walk you through the mental model of how this works, because it is quite different from just chatting with a bot. When you open Vibe Kanban, you are not greeted with a chat box. You are greeted with a board. Think Trello or Jira, but instead of assigning tasks to your coworkers who are going to ignore them for three days, you are assigning tasks to AI agents that execute them immediately. You have your standard columns like to do, in progress, in review, and done. Here is where it gets interesting. You create a card, say, Refactor the authentication middleware. Instead of just typing that into a void, you assign a specific executor to that card. You can tell Claude Code to handle the heavy logic, or you can assign a lighter task to a different model. But it doesn't just stop there. Because this is a Kanban board, you can create five different tasks and run them in parallel. This is the killer feature. You aren't blocked waiting for Claude to finish writing a test before you can start working on the front-end component. You queue them up, hit start, and Vibe Kanban orchestrates them running in the background. It basically treats coding tasks like asynchronous jobs rather than a blocking conversation. When you click into a specific task card, you get a dedicated view for that agent's work. It shows you the terminal output the changes it is proposing, and the diffs. It's a contained environment for that specific unit of work. This is kind of awesome because it isolates the context. If Agent A is working on the database schema, it doesn't necessarily need to be confused by the CSS changes Agent B is making on the landing page, unless you want them to be. You can review the code changes right there in the card before merging them into your actual project. It brings a level of sanity to the agentic workflow that we haven't really seen before. But let's talk critically about what Vibe Kanban is actually trying to do here, because I think this tool represents a shift in how we think about AI programming. We are moving from co-pilots, where the AI sits next to you and helps you type, to co-workers, or agents that go off and do a job while you do something else. Vibe Kanban is trying to be the manager for those co-workers. The most powerful aspect here is the centralized configuration. If you have used multiple CLI tools, you know the pain of setting up your environment variables, your ignored files, and your context rules for every single tool. Vibe Kanban centralizes this. You set up your MCP, or Model Context Protocol, 
servers in one place. You configure your project rules once, and then every agent you spawn via the board inherits that configuration. It streamlines your workflow a lot because you aren't constantly reteaching the AI how your project is structured. However, I have to be direct about the potential downsides here. This tool adds a layer of abstraction. For a lot of developers, the speed of just hitting Command-K in cursor or typing into a terminal is hard to beat. Introducing a Kanban board adds friction. You have to create a card, type a description, assign an agent, and manage the board. For small, quick tasks like fix this typo or change this color, Vibe Kanban is probably overkill. It feels like bringing a construction crew to hang a picture frame. This is really designed for larger, multi-step features where you need to decompose a problem into chunks. There is also the question of context fragmentation. While running agents in parallel sounds amazing, in practice, code is highly interdependent. If I have one agent refactoring the API response structure and another agent building the UI that consumes that API at the same time, they are going to clash. They don't know what the other is doing until the code is merged. Vibe Kanban gives you the ability to run things in parallel, but it doesn't solve the logical problem of merge conflicts and architectural drift. You, the human, still have to be the ultimate arbiter and make sure Agent A isn't breaking Agent B's work. That said, the Dev Server Management feature is a nice touch. It allows you to spin up and monitor your local host servers directly from the board, so you can see if the changes the agents are making are actually compiling and running without crashing. It tries to be a complete mission control center. Another thing to consider is that Vibe Kanban heavily relies on the underlying agents like Claude Code or Gemini CLI. It is an orchestration layer, not the brain itself. If those tools hallucinate or get stuck in loops, Vibe Kanban can't magically fix them. It just gives you a better seat to watch the crash happen. But having that visibility is better than having a terminal window buried somewhere in the background that you forgot about. In literal seconds, you can see the status of your entire project. You can see that three tasks are done, one failed, and two are in progress. That visual feedback loop is something the terminal just cannot give you. It turns the abstract concept of AI working on my code into something tangible and trackable. It is an experiment in UI slash UX for the AI era. We are still figuring out the right interface for autonomous coding. Is it a chat? Is it an IDE? Or is it a project management board like this? Vibe Kanban makes a strong argument that for complex, multi-agent work, we need structure. We need visibility. And we need to stop staring at a blinking cursor waiting for a response. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.